So guys, you've got the Note 20 Ultra 5G and if you see, I've charged it to 100%. You can see that on the top right corner. What we'll do is go ahead and play PUBG for about an hour and uh, the clock over here, the timer here is going to keep track of that time. I'm obviously playing under some constraints, so I'm going to list them over here and we'll keep that the same throughout the video. So let's go ahead and play PUBG and uh, let's also start the timer. All right, so I'm just going to start Let's turn these off and I'm going to start playing. The timer is still running. So let's come back after about an hour. All right. So it's almost 59 minutes and 27 seconds. So I'm just going to go ahead and turn this off. So one hour of playing PUBG has depleted about 15% of your battery. And now let's go ahead and turn on Asphalt 9. And let's play this for about 30 minutes and see what happens. So the timer is still running. It's it's at one hour now, so we'll come back at one hour 30. All right, so um, let's just pause this over here. As you can see on the clock, we've got one hour 30, which means I've played 30 minutes of Asphalt 9. So let's go out and have a look at the battery levels. 10% battery has been lost while I was playing Asphalt 9 for about 30 minutes. Now that's a little more than what I saw with PUBG. And I did feel that the phone also got a little hotter when compared to playing PUBG for an hour. Probably Asphalt 9 takes more resources and it's a more you know dynamic game. But anyway, let's move on. And now we're going to watch Netflix for about an hour. So I'm just going to play a movie and I'm just going to leave it over there. So let's come back at around 2 hour 30 and I'm just going to leave this over here. It's been about an hour that I've been watching Netflix. I kept changing uh, between shows and movies. So it's been on. And now if you see, I've got about 67% battery left. So that means that we lost about 8% over one hour of Netflix use. That's actually pretty good. Um, now let's go ahead and play a YouTube video. All right, so now it's two hours and 33 minutes. So we'll watch a YouTube video for about an hour and I'm gonna make sure that, uh, you know, the video is long enough, so. All right, so it's been about an hour that I've been watching a video on YouTube. And so it's at 58%, which means I've just lost 9% battery of, uh, you know, after watching one hour of YouTube. Anyway, let's go ahead and listen to some music now. And we are at three hours and 36 right now. So let's come around four hours and 36 and then we'll take it from there. All right, so it's been about an hour that I've been listening to music. Do note that my screen was on while I was also using the phone for, you know, other things. I was browsing the internet. So it wasn't only playing music. So that's something you need to be aware of. So you'll see that the battery has dropped to 40%. That's quite a bit of a drop after one hour because as I said, the screen was on throughout and the music, it was actually being played at about 80 to 85% volume, which is actually quite a lot. So uh, that's YouTube music that we were playing for an hour. Now let's go ahead and make a phone call and we'll talk on this phone for about, let's say 20 minutes. All right, so I'm getting a phone call and I'm just gonna attend to it. And we're gonna keep this on for 20 minutes and then we'll get back. So it's 4.36, we'll be back at about um, for 56 or so. So as you can see, I just completed 20 minutes of my phone call and I've gone from about 40% to 38%. So that's just 2% gone. And I think that's pretty good. Now let's go ahead and do a video call for 20 minutes. So it's about five over here and uh, we'll come back at 5.30. So we've got about 30 minutes of video calling and then we'll see how further it drops from 38. All right, so I'm gonna cut it short to 22 minutes of a video call. So now if you see, I've got 31% left, which means 9% of the battery was lost while I was on that video call. And now let's go ahead and shoot an 8K video for about five minutes and let's see what that does. So I've recorded a little over five minutes of 8K footage and a couple of things. One, it's really hot this time. Uh, 8K takes a lot of processing power, so it makes sense for the phone to become that hot. And just five minutes of 8K recording has taken 5% of that battery. Anyway, let's change the video resolution to 4K at 30 FPS now. And we're gonna go ahead and shoot for another five minutes and let's see how further down it goes from 25%. So just completed five minutes of 4K video recording and let's go ahead and check the battery levels. So we're at 22%, which means five minutes of 4K footage took 3% of the battery life. And now let's go ahead and shoot at 1080p at 30 FPS. 
All right, so that's about five minutes of 1080p video recording. So let's go ahead and stop that and check out the battery life. So we are at about 19%, which means five minutes of 1080p video recording also took about 3% of battery life. So here are the final results. And as you can see, I kept a pretty good mix of the kind of activities I chose looking at what generally people like to do. Uh, so, you know, there was one and a half hours of gaming, three hours of pure entertainment, you know, in terms of watching videos and listening to music, voice call, video call, and a bit of video recording just to give you some idea in terms of consumption. And yes, I've not talked about regular camera use or let's say WhatsApp use or browsing Instagram and Facebook or browsing the web on Chrome. Uh, but this should give you a fair idea again, and you should be able to correlate given the context here. And it's also important to note that I've recorded a screen on time of about 5 hours and 44 minutes while I've been doing all these tests, and the Note 20 Ultra still has 19% battery left. So what does that mean? This means that after doing everything I just showed you, you'll still be left with 19% of battery life, which you can then use to watch more games or play more videos or uh, just talk more on the phone or just let your phone sit idle, which is what you'll actually end up doing. Now, 19% can roughly translate to about seven hours to 15 hours of just sitting idle, depending on how many apps you've got installed on your phone. So let's say you get about 12 hours of standby time and then you add five hours and 40 minutes of screen on time. You're looking at about 17 to 18 hours of total phone usage through the day, which I think is pretty impressive. The remaining time you'll probably be sleeping and you can charge your phone again up to 100%. I also personally feel that the Note 20 Ultra's battery performance is better than what I saw in the S20 Ultra. And a part of the reason is that unlike the S20, the Note 20 Ultra does not have its refresh rate locked at 120 Hz. It's variable, it's adaptive. So depending on when it's required, it'll clock all the way to 120 Hz. And if not required, it'll lower it down. And thereby it gives, it just yields more battery life in comparison to the S20 Ultra. So that's something that's really good. And while Samsung may have improved the performance of the Exynos 990 as compared to the S20 Ultra, the Snapdragon may still perform better overall from a battery perspective. Anyway, that's it from me on the Galaxy Note 20 battery performance and battery drain test. If you've got any questions, feel free to drop them in the comment section below. As always, don't forget to drop a like, hit the subscribe button and that bell icon. I'll see you guys in the next one.